What's up everybody? Welcome to Reckless Garage TV. So today we're going to rip out this motor. And uh, the reason we're going to rip out the motor, where well, you're just going to have to hang in there and uh, watch and see what we got in store for this. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to do some upgrades to it. So that is it. So we're going to tear this mortar down, rip it out, take out the turbos. And uh, once we do so, and take out the radiator and all, once we do so, we will report back. And I'll show you some more, all right? All right, so we got the turbo out. Freed up a lot of space in this area. <laughs> but, yeah, she's she's freaking heavy. I'm still breathing heavily, you know, from taking it out. But, <laughs> yeah, there she is. There's the big beast. All right, so we will continue. And uh, I'll show you guys more as we take layers off of this motor. All right. All right, everybody. So here we are. We took off the intake. Um, we obviously took off the turbo. Um, so we're we're getting to it. Um, I'm gonna leave all the accessories on. I'm just gonna take off the radiator hose from there. Um, obviously take it off from this side of the radiator. I'll just take out the radiator out. But um, we're gonna finish this job over at my friend's house. And uh, there's the intake along with the turbo. Yeah, they're over there getting acquainted, talking to each other, having coffee. Or actually uh, some E, they're having some E85. So yeah guys, so my friend, he's gonna get here in a bit. He's gonna come up with the trailer and we're gonna tow it over to his house. As you can see, my garage is small. His is small too, but um, he has a cherry picker. You know, my wife, she gets a little upset because I have stuff all over this garage. <laughs> see, that's my side, this is her side. So she's she's into uh, all that fitness stuff. So um, we're gonna wrap things up here, put things away so like that when my buddy gets here, we can just uh, throw it onto the trailer and uh, take it down to his house. And um, we're basically almost out. Right now I'm gonna work on taking off the torque converter bolts. Once we take off the torque converter bolts, uh, basically just unbolt the tranny to the motor and take out the two fucking um engine mount bolts and off she goes and then um when we have it on the engine stand um uh, before we put it on the engine stand we're going to take off the flywheel bolts and the back cover and uh you'll see why we will get once we get to that point you guys will see why we're gonna do all that but um yeah, so right now I'm going to raise it up, take off the torque converter bolts, and uh, and we'll see how much more longer it will take for my friend to get here with this trailer. All right, see you all later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I ordered some 1500 injectors. So we're going to put two Walbro 450s into the fuel tank. And... Um, we're gonna see what we can do with these 1500s. So let me get to it. I'm gonna do some unboxing and um, we'll get to it. All right, so here we go. Let's see what comes with Snake Eater 1500s. So here's the, the sheet, the flow sheet. Okay, so if you guys need to look at it a little closer, you guys can pause it somewhere in between. Alright, here we are. We'll open one up. All eight, about the same. 
Well, they should be the same. So, let me see if I can open this sucker up with my hand. with all its glory 1500 snake eaters performance it comes with uh, seals on either end and these are the DECA style injector there's a plug so yep there we go so that's what it is all right guys so we got the motor out okay. she's all nice and free and clear Got it out. We got the homies here. Rodrigo over there. And here's the here's the mortar. Here's the victim. Yeah, here's the victim. So we got the flex plate out. And the rear main seal. He's over there taking it out right now as we speak. Cleaning it all up. So I haven't showed you guys what we're gonna do, but you guys just gonna have to hang in there and uh, figure out what we're gonna be doing to this. So I'll show you guys some more later on. So there you go. All right, so there's the block. We got it down, no oil pan, no heads, we got the heads out. We got the heads right here. No NOS guys, no NOS. Maybe down the road. We'll see. Rodrigo's taking off my concussion of fucking silicone there. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? What do you think, man? Oh, I'm excited to see this thing rock and roll, man. Yeah? It's gonna be a fun car. It sure is. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got all the we got the crank, the pistons out, pistons over here, cranks over here, and we got the caps. So there it is. Right now we're gonna hone it. We're gonna dingleberry hone this sucker. And after we do that, we're gonna gap the rings. And once we gap the rings, we'll put the rings on and everything. Here's a dingleberry home. All right, so moment of truth. This is the whole reason we did this. We got some Summit Pro LS rods and pistons. So we're gonna go forged internals. And that was the whole reason that we're doing all this. Right, Rodrigo? Yes, sir. So, we're going to be pushing over a thousand horsepower if it all goes good. And we got some uh, Snake Eater Performance injectors as well. Here they are. A little Snake Eater Performance. And those will be 1500 cc injectors. So we're gonna power wash the engine bay as well. But yeah, all right, we'll report back later. All right, so we got the dingleberry honing done. Yeah. Nice little cross hatch. Can't really tell on that one, but they're not by any means they're not shiny anymore. There it is. Alright, so we're gonna gap the rings and uh we're gonna do 28 on the top and 25 on the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do and get to it.
All right, so we gotta check, make sure that the reluctor is not bent right here. So you just wanna watch it right here. If that reluctor is bent just a little bit, you might as well buy a new crank. But this crank is already balanced to these pistons. We already got every pist uh, piston ring, upper and lower. And these are already numbered. So this is piston number one. I already had it marked. Piston number one. One, two, three, and four, and so on. So right now we're gonna throw in the main caps and bearings and call it a day. We'll report back. Sounds good. All right, so we got the whole bottom end done. We got the, <clears throat> the pistons in, the rods. These are the Pro LS series from Summit. Rodrigo is turning the rotating assembly. And right now I'll flip it for you guys. That way you guys can see the pistons. And there they are. Pro LS and uh, yeah so here pretty soon we're gonna hopefully get the uh, oil pump and the whole front end done timing chain get it all done all right I'll show you guys some more later